Welcome to the UNV Certification Program. The topic of this video is basic knowledge of analog CCTV. Throughout this course, you will learn some basics of analog CCTV system and know how it is composed. Understand the main differences when compared to the IP CCTV system and see its applications in real life. Now, let's get started. Firstly, let's learn some basics of analog CCTV system. Analog surveillance has a long history of development. It was first started in the 1940s when a German engineer named Walter Brook created and installed the first analog CCTV cameras. In the 1970s to 1980s, people used video cassette recorders to store footage. In the 1980s to 1990s, some new features were added to VCRs, such as multiplexers and time lapse technology. These features allowed some recorders to record multiple cameras on one VCR and slow down or speed up the footage as needed. In the early 2000s, digital video recorders emerged with the ability to store footage on hard drives using digital technology. This made storage capacity and flexibility much easier. And now, we have high-definition analog systems. These systems can provide better resolution and image quality. So do you know what today's analog CCTVs look like? Here it is. It's a kind of security system that uses analog cameras to record what's happening around. These cameras send their signals through coaxial cables to a device called DVR that saves the footage on hard drives. They are not very high quality in the video resolution, but they do the job. They are easy to set up, reliable, and cheap. And if you need a system that works well for watching over small streets and convenience stores, you might want to consider this system. Now that we know what analog CCTV is, let's explore further to see how it compares with IP CCTV system. Let's say there is a light coming through the camera. The light that hits the camera is changed into an electric signal by a sensor and a chip called ADC. This signal is now like a rough draft of the image. To make the image better, another chip called DSP edits it. DSP stands for Digital Signal Processing and it's like the brain of the camera. It can make the image look nicer and smarter by adding things like brightness, color, and night vision. For IP cameras, this chip can also make the image smaller by using methods like H.264, H.265, or U-code to squeeze it without losing much quality. It also handles many data analyses. The IP camera can send the digital data to the internet easily. But if you have an analog camera, your digital image needs to be changed back into an analog signal before it can be sent through a cable to another device. This means that you need another chip called DAC that does the opposite of ADC. Every time the signal switches between digital and analog, the image quality somehow gets lost. IP cameras therefore produce better images than analog cameras with more advanced chips and less signal loss. Now, let's move to the signal transmission part. Well, analog signals are like smooth waves that can change in any way within a certain range. This makes them more secure and less disturbed by noise and interference. Digital signals are like choppy steps that can only switch between a few values. They can be processed and transmitted without losing much quality. And do you know what kind of cable analog CCTV uses? It's called coaxial cable, and it's a traditional cable that has been around for a long time. You might know this connector here. It's called a BNC connector, and it connects the video from the camera to the recorder. There is also another connector called a DC connector, which connects the power to the camera. One thing you should know about this cable is that it has a distance limit of about 300 meters. What about IP systems? They use CAT5E or CAT6 cable instead of coaxial cable. This is a type of UTP cable that has four pairs of wires twisted together without any metal shield around them. 
It has a special connector called RJ45 that carries both video and power in one cable. In fact, some systems can run up to 100 meters with just one CAT 5E cable. Great, let's now add the recorder to the system. When signals come out of the camera, they can be encoded with different technology. For analog CCTV, the signal can go with CBVS, HD, TVI, and CVI. It can work with most analog devices and DVRs. On the other hand, AHD, TVI, and CVI are more advanced, with high resolution of up to 4K or more, but they don't work with each other. Meanwhile, for IP CCTV, the signal coming out of the camera is usually based on the technology of RTSP and ONVIF. RTSP lets you stream video and audio from an IP camera over the internet without needing any app or software. ONVIF ensures that different IP cameras and devices can work together on a network without worrying about compatibility issues. And based on IP camera's powerful DSP chip, the video compression can be completed in the camera. While for analog CCTV, this process can only be completed by the back-end devices. And for IP cameras, they can do the jobs like auto-tracking, audio detection, and intrusion detection. While for analog systems, all these analyses need to rely on the recorders. And the IP surveillance system recorders can perform extra video analysis with enough space. Now let's compare the video latency of the two systems. Analog CCTV has very low latency, almost instantaneous, while the IP system could have higher latency because it uses network protocols and data compression. How do these two systems compare in terms of resolution? For analog CCTV, resolution is measured by the number of horizontal and vertical television lines in an image. And typically, it won't be very high. And it means that the system can't capture or detect motion very well. IP CCTV cameras can offer much higher resolution from 720p to 4K or even 8K. In terms of device configuration, IP system offers more flexibility and options. With analog CCTV, the function configuration is somewhat limited. For instance, you need to configure image parameters using the OSD menu, which isn't always user-friendly and doesn't provide as much content. On the other hand, with IP systems, you can configure the more advanced smart functions and do batch configuration in a more convenient way. Now, imagine you want to scale up your analog system and add more cameras. For example, if you have a second building and you want to use one recorder for everything, you would have to run 16 cables from each camera back to the recorder. That sounds messy, right? Now compare that to an IP system. IP systems use networks that are addressable. That means, with the help of switch, you only need one cable to let the two buildings communicate. And think about bigger installations like schools, casinos, or public buildings. IP systems would make more sense in these cases. So based on the comparison we made, let me summarize the main points for you. Analog cameras have fewer functions compared to IP cameras. They also use different types of signals and cables. They need specific recorders that match them, while IP cameras can work with different recorders. Another difference is the resolution and latency. Analog CCTV has lower resolution, has lower latency. While, in the terms of device management, IP CCTV is much more convenient, scalability is another factor to consider. For analog systems, they are not very scalable, so it's hard to change them. IP CCTV systems are more scalable. However, analog systems are easier to install and cheaper. The last thing I want to tell you is the advanced features. Analog systems have a few of them. 
while IP systems have many advanced features. Now let's move to the last part to find out what scenarios are suitable for analog CCTV. Analog CCTV does not require complicated installation or configuration. It is easy to set up as you just need to connect the camera to the recorder with a cable. It also maintains video quality and connection because it is not affected by network interference. And analog systems are a bargain compared to IP systems, but they don't compromise on quality. Based on the traits above, analog CCTV is well suited for the basic monitoring needs in entry-level application scenarios. Small street monitoring is one of the typical use cases for it, as it is easy to install, reliable, and cost-effective. Let's say you have a bakery store, and you want to watch over how everything is going on in your shop. You should think about getting some analog CCTV. They won't cost you a lot, but they will be like a loyal and alert guard for your shop. Also, if you want to protect your convenience shop from troublemakers, Analog surveillance is also a good option. It's easy to install and won't cost you an arm and a leg. That's all for today. Thanks for your time and hope this will be helpful to you. See you next time.